Hey people, wait right, just before I show you this. So inside my van, got a couple of big off-road tires. I'm thinking from one of the cleats up on the roof up here, down to the floor, there's another cleat just behind that all-terrain board. I'm pretty sure I can make a mobile gym with the rope I've got in here. I'm gonna have to tear this back, but hey, that's all right. So, let me show you this. This is a knot I learned a little while ago from one of my friends on Facebook. He's a climber over in the States. He came up with this knot, so. What do you see? I think I figured a real easy way to teach how to do it. So, past the two ends of the split tail, underneath through the carabiner, and with this end, this leg that's coming over the other one, what we want to do is twist another bite or twist the bite of the rope at the other side into another cross and then I'm just going to pass these two ends through that hole now once I dress it pull that knot down to it, tight towards the carabiner and then pull either leg to set it what do we see? Now, if you were just using it in this configuration with an anchor here, I think you'd want a stopper knot on this side. I don't know if you need it, but you'd want it. But in a three knot system, where this is then coming back up to this, I think this knot would work really nicely, hey. I have to remember what it's called, I can't remember what it's called. His son named it A. And once you've got it looted, it breaks real easy, eh? Just like a bowline, pushing that that lead bite back. Cool, eh? 